2016 Olympic bronze medalist Nico Hernandez will be fighting for his first professional title on Saturday, December 2, when he takes on Hungarian invader Joseph Little Red Ajtai in the eight-round main event for the vacant International Boxing Association EBA Flyweight Championship, headlining Co-Night Boxing Gold Glory at Hartman Arena in Park City, Kansas. Co-Night Boxing Gold Glory is a presentation of Co-Night Boxing LLC, in association with Hartman Arena, and sponsored in part by Twister City Harley-Davidson Metro PCs, Mort Cigar Bar and Jimmy Egg, the action will be taped live for future airing on CBS Sports Network. The 21-year-old Hernandez, 30, two KOs, fighting out of Wichita, will be fighting in a scheduled eight-round bout for the first time. His three pro fights to date were all scheduled for six rounds and each was held in Kansas, the last two in his second home, Hartman Arena. In his last fight this past September 23rd, Hernandez was forced to fight late replacement Kendrick Uprising Latchman who outweighed the celebrated American Olympian by more than 10 pounds. Hernandez won a six-round unanimous decision by scores of 6,054 and 5,955 twice, despite being younger than Hernandez by almost a year to the day. Ajtai 199, 12 KOs has already had 28 pro fights, including a full 10-round distance loss by decision last year to two-time Olympic gold medalist Shimingzo, the former World Boxing Organization WBO flyweight world champion. By far, Nico is fighting the toughest opponent of his pro career, Hernandez promoter John Anderson. Anderson Co. Knight Boxing LLC said. Ajtai has much more experience as a pro than Nico, plus he went the distance against a two-time Olympic gold medalist Zo. Ajtai is a busy fighter with a good knockout ratio 63%. This fight is going to tell us a lot about Nico, especially his power at 112 pounds. Nico fighting for a title in only his fourth pro fight proves that all our hard efforts of Co. Knight Boxing and Team Nico has paid off quickly and we're grateful that the EBA has given him this great opportunity. IDIDN2 realized the high quality of champions the EBA has had in the past and were proud that Nico can someday join this group. In the flyweight division, Nico may enter world title fight shot discussions earlier than I had originally thought, which was in his third year as a pro. An impressive performance against Ajtai could position him for a world title fight next year with less than 10 fights under his belt. We're excited to have an American Olympian fighting for our first America's title, EBA president JC Corages added. Nico Hernandez is an Olympic bronze medalist and we're hopeful that he will develop into an EBA world champion in the not-too-distant future. His amateur pedigree speaks for itself and we're very happy to have this young man fighting for the EBA America's title. EBA world champions during the past quarter century include Hall of Famers Oscar de la Hoya, George Foreman, Roberto Duran and Arturo Gatti, as well as stars such as Roy Jones Jr., Bernard Hopkins, Shane Mosley, James Tony, Mikel Kessler, Eric Morales, Diego Corrales, Jose Luis Castillo, Glenn Johnson and Antonio Tarver. Other fights on the Gold Glory card will soon be announced. All fights and fighters are subject to change. Tags Nico Hernandez